Hello, welcome to sensory play day number 15. We are going to do fossil prints today. Um, I've chosen to use green play-doh. I'm hoping it shows up a bit better on camera. Um, we've done it before and this is from Play Inspired Mums with the um, just plain colored play-doh. So it's completely up to you how you choose to do it. I've got some dinosaur skeletons here. I'm gonna use these for another activity as well, but I thought they'd work well for this one. Um, the original idea is to do footprints. So then you're matching up See, say this, what's this, a T-Rexy sort of thing, has got the two feet, this one's got four, this one's got four as well. So in this set, these two would be tricky, but again, that brings up conversation. So it's a matching sort of thing where we're pushing the prints into the Play-Doh, but you could also then tip them sideways. And for this particular set, it's going to give you a bit more of a clue. And they'll make really cool fossils too. I'm hoping the Play-Doh doesn't get stuck in the ribs, but we'll see. Um, for younger ones, you can use your wooden animal shapes. So that's going to be a little bit easier and identifying, you know, common animals. You've got your rabbit, fox, and duck. And then I've got a bug set as well. So uh, these ones are really cool. You've got the snake, scorpion, bug, and frog. Oh, sorry, they're not all insects, are they? You've got reptiles and amphibians as well. So there's a number of ways you can do it, either with the footprints or with the body prints, um, or you could even use shapes, yeah? So I'm going to get Play-Doh. That makes a good um, Play-Doh mat, but I'll show you that and a few play ideas later. Again, up to you whether you want to use small discs and one per animal, because then we can put it into a sensory tray with sand, like in the picture here. Uh, that's... Oh, let's put it into an oval sort of shape. So these ones are going to be a bit bigger to accommodate for my different animals. Oh, actually these ones, let's go scorpion. That's a good scorpion sized one. So I'm going to push it into the Play-Doh. And this is an activity that you can do and have ready for your little one. Um, so you could leave this out to dry and sprinkle some sand on it so you get the print a bit better as well. Probably should have got an egg slice to get that off the table or done it on a baking tray. No, that's all right. All right, we'll leave that one there. Um, so yeah, you can do it beforehand. Um, so maybe when your little one's asleep, so they get up and they see the prints already done. So then they've got the activity in the play tray of the fossil and then matching it up to the animal. Or you could do it with them. They're gonna have so much fun pushing in these little animals into the Play-Doh as well. There we go. If I push it too far, it gets pretty thin. There we go. I'll do one, no, I'll do the snake. He's gonna take up a fair bit of room though. I may not have to fit all of him on. There we go. Well, let's tuck his tail in there. There you go. Now, I've got my beach sand and I have a brush. I've got a paintbrush here. So I'm just going to sprinkle. I probably should have done that first. All right, hang on. I'm gonna sprinkle it on, but in doing so, I may actually wreck my fossil. Let's print it again. I'm just thinking now, I probably should have got the Play-Doh, added a layer of the sand and then pressed it in, but we could do it again because we kind of want the sand pushed into the top of the Play-Doh. That should be fine. Yeah, that'll do. Um, obviously, if your Play-Doh wasn't green, it might look a little bit more authentic, but really, it doesn't matter. Not for this activity. I don't think your kid's gonna care. If you think your kid will care, do it with the clear. Ah, uh, not the clear, just the without color. All right, push some of that sand in and my bug. go in some of the sand around it as well. Now you can leave this to dry overnight so your Play-Doh is a bit crusty so you've got little discs or you can just use it as is. I'm going to do it as is. I need to get my play tray sorted. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I've got my play tray here. That's just the Kmart one. I'm going to put this I Spy mat. This one's a really cool one. It's one of my favorites. Um, but hidden throughout all the leaves are different insects. Yeah, there's loads of different ones on there. Um, so this is a good pre-reading activity 
to build those pre-reading strategies of scanning the page from left to right, which is how we read, but that's generally how you scan a page as well, to look for the little bugs. You can play I Spy too. So I Spy with my little eye, something beginning with B. Oh, you could go bugs, butterfly, all the different bits and pieces. But I'm gonna chuck this at the bottom as an added activity to our fossils. So I'm gonna chuck that in there. Hang on, I don't have a huge amount of room here, do I? Okay. So you can see at the bottom, I'm going to get my sand and nope, I'm gonna put my fossils in first. So put them around and on top of the mat. I'll show you in a sec, I'm running out of camera space. Um, obviously I can do more than three, yeah? Well, you can do more than three. I'm going to sprinkle sand. Over. Yeah, I could probably use. Oh, I don't want too much in there. There we go. Yes. And then, where's my paintbrush? You could do it deeper to cover up the fossils. Uh, it depends what the point of your activity is, what your little ones love doing. But can you see as I brush this off? Your little one, see if they recognize the shape of the animal. Um, and I forgot to put my insects in as well. Oh, and snake. There you go. So you can see now that it matches our scorpion, which wasn't actually on camera. Sorry. Yeah, I think he went that way. And then this one. I didn't deliberately put them next to each other either. And little ones love brushing things. I remember the um, dinosaur exhibit at SciTech and they had a huge big pit. You know the, um, the rubber bits that they put at the bottom of the playground, they compact it, but this was all loose, same as the sand, I suppose. There you go, matched up the snake there. And they just sat there for ages brushing this rubbery stuff off of, uh, well, it was just in piles with a dinosaur skeleton underneath. It's really cool. But again, good for fine motor skills, good for that, um, I suppose, pencil grip as well, which with little ones, you don't want to be under four, you don't want to be giving them thin paintbrushes, pencils, pens, yeah? You want the thick, chunky ones. Um, your little ones will hold it like that to start with. I don't know a huge amount of pen grip, on pen grip, so I'm not going to go into it because uh, I'll probably tell you all the wrong things. But just make sure they're chunky, yes, because the bones, um, whatever else is in your hand, I don't do bodies either, uh, isn't formed yet till four. Yes, so they're better off with the chunky stuff. All right, so we've got my last little bug there, which will match up to this one. And then this is where you can use the mat. Let's move our snake. Um, so I'm going to brush a bit. There you go, you've got a little grasshopper. Brush the sand out of the way. Sorry, is what I was trying to say. We've got a beetle here to reveal all the different bugs. We've got a butterfly here. Um, there's another one there. I'm pretty sure there's another one around here somewhere. There you go. Grasshopper. Brush them over again. So you could play I Spy, so, um, which clearly you can't if it's all covered. So I Spy with my little eye, a, you could probably rephrase that, spider. Because I know there's a spider in there, yeah? Which I'm pretty sure is around here somewhere. There's a dragonfly. B. Oh, it is around here somewhere. Hang on, that's not even on camera. There we go. You got a tarantula in the corner here. Yep. All right, I hope this is useful to you. Um, this one is free on the website today. There's a number of different activities you can do here. Um, again, as I said, you can use these sorts of bugs or wooden shapes or alphabet numbers, anything that you can press into the Play-Doh and recognize the shape of it. All right. I'm going to go. I will talk to you soon. Have fun with this one. Bye.